Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another E-Series webinar. My name is Roberto Jauregui. I am a technician here on the Florida branch of EPCOM. Uh, my email here is on the page, if you can see everything here. My email is going to be right here. If you need any inquiries or if you'd like to have the webinar yourself, you can email me saying, hey, I would like the webinar. To, for anybody that needs the webinar to maybe show some clients these specifications or how the product looks. Now, we're going to take a couple minutes here to just make sure that everybody is in here. And I would like to know if you guys can hear me correctly and it's crisp and you can hear me well. Please put that in the questions and the questions box, please. Thank you, Joanna, for assisting me with the microphone. Uh, we're just going to give maybe three to four minutes until everybody is in here so we can start the webinar. Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, once again, my name is Roberto Jauregui. I'm a technician slash engineer here for the Florida branch of EPCOM. Here, I want to welcome you all. I hope you all are having a good day. 
Uh, here for this e-series webinar, we're going to be focusing on the new models that we are currently having in stock right now. Now, I want to remind you all that most of these models are going to have NDAA compliant, the certification for it in case they do ask you. But two, two devices will not have the NDAA compliant certification. Uh, yes, I know that the E-Series line is supposed to have the NDA compliant. Everything is supposed to be NDA compliant. And it will be around like 98% of our devices that is in this line will be NDAA compliant, except maybe like two or three. Now, if you would like this webinar at all, uh, if you want me to send you this webinar, just email me saying, hey, I would like to have the webinar in case you want to keep uh, the specifications for the devices or just want to show the specifications or for any purpose that you would like, I, you can email me and I'll send it over. No problem. Another thing is if you need help with any future projects or jobs or if you have any questions at all, and you can't, for whatever reason, uh, put the questions in the question side on this webinar, then you can email me saying, Roberto, hey, I have a question about this certain product, or I have a question of implementing it or anything like that, or a project, I will gladly help you guys out with that, no problems. Um, and without further ado, let's start the webinar. So for our first product here, we have a intercom unit. The model is up above here. It's the AC VP2W Gen 3. All of our E-Series models and E-Series products are going to end with Gen 3. So if you see Gen 3, then that is going to be an E-Series product. If you don't see it, then it's probably another, another product that we have or another company's. But if it's Gen 3, then it is going to be a model of the E-Series brand. So for this intercom, the maximum resolution is 2 megapixels. The reason why it's 2 megapixels is most intercoms are going to be installed on a door or a wall. And most people, and most people are, they're going to be arm length to ring the doorbell. So 2 megapixels, is just enough to view that person from that distance. The, it doesn't really need any more than two megapixels. That's why most intercoms nowadays only come with two megapixels and not any, not any more. There's not really a necessity to have more than two megapixels on an intercom or a video doorbell system. The lens is a 2.3 millimeter lens. It's pretty wide for an intercom. And it has an infrared distance of three meters or 10 feet. Here we did the conversion for you guys. If it's easier for you to measure in feet than it is meters. And with that infrared distance, it can capture anything at night. No problem at all. It supports P2P. If you don't know what P2P is, it's a plug and play basically. So it's easy to connect to, let's say, the monitor that we're going to show later on. Or right after this slide, we're going to show the monitor. You go on the monitor, you put the IP of the video doorbell system, and just like that, you will, it's just two steps. This has an IP rating of 67. That means that you can put it outside, but you have to be wary uh, if it has a little, if it has a little hangover, the, the house has a little hangover, or if you have a cover, then you'll be good. It can sustain water, but not heavy, heavy water. But you can use it for outside purposes, for exterior. The warranty is five years, just like all of our E-Series brands and products. There, Everything is going to be of a warranty of five years. Now, the compatible monitor 
that comes with this intercom system is going to be the ACM 6W Gen 3. In about two slides, we'll show you the monitor as well. This is one of the devices that has the NDAA certificate. If you don't know what the NDAA or NDAA stands for, NDAA stands for the National Defense Authorization Act. And what that refers to is basically a set of security measures that must be met to be eligible for a certain type of government contracts. So if you're going to a project and they ask for all the devices to be NDAA uh, certified, or maybe you have heard of a project where it, it it's NDA, you need projects, uh, you need products that are NDAA certified or UL certified. UL is the more typical one, and that is what they're referring to. They need that brand, that marking on it where it's NDAA compliant or NDAA certified. So it, it also has a RJ45 interface on the back of it. It's PoE, it's power over ethernet. Uh, the storage that it has, it can, you can store, it can have a micro SD of up to 256 gigabytes. The audio, it has a one channel integrated microphone and one channel integrated speaker. So it can do two way audio. For the some of the smart events or some of the features that it has, it does have face detection on it. And it can also, you can also add cards, my fair cards of up to 13.56 megahertz, and you can add up to 3,000 cards. It supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, not 5 gigahertz. It needs to be 2.4. And it supports of up to six monitors one main monitor and the other five is going to be the secondary monitors or the slave monitors and it supports of up to 10 doorbells one main doorbell and nine secondary doorbell or nine slave doorbells this is just what the product uh, looks like you can see where the lens is the lens is going to be in the middle the Wi-Fi feature, the MyFair cards, or the card is going to be in the middle. The output relay is going to be on the back. It comes with a cable um, that comes with the box. It supports up to one relay, so it can be a wet contact or a dry contact. It's normally open, normally closed. The resolution, two megapixel, and it has the integrated microphone. And the button to call will be on the bottom. You see on the bottom a little bell icon that will be the ring button now as i said earlier this will be the monitor for the new video doorbell system the model as i said earlier is acm 6w gen 3. this monitor supports wi-fi and the resolution is 1024 by 600. It supports of up to 16 IP cameras, but that doesn't say that you can view them simultaneously. You can't view 16 IP cameras simultaneously. The amount of cameras you can view at once is four. You can add 16, but you can only view four from the monitor itself. And it has a maximum playback of the four simultaneous cameras, so you can play back four cameras simultaneously without an issue and it supports about the five monitors as an extension so that's this is where i'm getting us so this one would be the main monitor and then you have five other monitors as an extension so in a total of six it supports the p2p which is the the it supports p2p any function of the p2p or pnp it has an ip rating of 67 so you can put it outside in a patio or inside in the kitchen or anywhere where the client would like to put it. The compatible intercom is the, the only one that we currently have for the E-Series brand, which is the AC VP2W Gen 3. This monitor has the NDAA certificate. So it is NDAA compliant for all the jobs that require that. 
for the audio, it has one channel of integrated mic and one channel of integrated speaker, so two-way audio as well. It supports noise suppression and cancellation. This monitor supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so you can connect it through Wi-Fi without a problem. Uh, the wires will be coming with the monitor that you have to plug it into the 12 volt transformer or 12 volts and you just put it in the wall. It doesn't need, it has an RJ45 interface, but it doesn't need it. Once you have it through 12 volts, you just set up the Wi-Fi and you're good to go. It has eight alarm inputs and it comes with the wall installation bracket already with the device. It's not gonna come separate like other monitors, it comes with it. This is how it looks. This is how the monitor looks. So the button to call will be the one on the bottom right where you see a little outline of a key. You touch that button and it's going to ring on the phone, on the application or in the doorbell. Now this is another product that we have here. It's the 32 channel DVR. Uh, the model name is up here. It's the EV8032 Turbo Gen 3. It supports up to five technologies, all the five technologies, TVI, CVI, AHD, and CVBS, and IP. It supports up to 32 channels, Turbo HD, which is the analog cameras, and it also supports eight channels IP. So you're, you can add analog and IP cameras to this device. 32 of the analog and eight IP for a total of 40 channels. It has 16 audio inputs, it has one audio output, and a RCA connector. It also supports a compression of up to H.265 and H.264. The capacity for storage, it has a good capacity for storage of up to eight SATA, and it's 10 terabytes per hard drive. So in total of 80 terabytes of storage. It supports audio by coaxitron on all of the channels. So all 32 channels of this DVR will support audio by coaxitron. And it has a warranty of up to five years. The monitor didn't say it, the product that we had looked at before the monitor, uh, but everything on the E-Series line does have five years, even though the slide didn't say it. Uh, this DVR is one that is NDAA certified or NDAA compliant. So you will have no issues implementing these in your future projects or current projects. For the TVI, HD, and CVI outputs, it's inputs, it's 4K, 5 megapixels, 4 megapixels, 1080p, and 720p. And for the CVBS, it's WD1. And for the IP is up to 8 megapixels, up to 16 channels. This is another product that we have. It is a Wi-Fi bullet. The model of it is the XB 42W Gen 3. XB because B stands for bullet. And then the four stands for the four megapixel. And the two is the lens. And the W is for the Wi-Fi. So this camera does support Wi-Fi. The maximum resolution is going to be four megapixels, so it's a four megapixel bullet. The lens is 2.8 millimeters, a total of 90, uh, 94 degree angle that it will be looking at. It has WDR functions and an infrared distance of up to 30 meters. The compression supported for this bullet is H.265 and H.264. This bullet also supports P2P and it supports Wi-Fi. For the Wi-Fi, it's very simple. It's like um, all the other cameras where you would go to the advanced settings, you go to the Wi-Fi, activate it and click the Wi-Fi that you would like to add and just put in the password 
and that's it. After that, you just put the 12 volts, the, the 12 volt current former, and you're good to go. The IP rating of this camera is going to be 67, so it can be indoors and outdoors without an issue. The warranty is going to be five years, and this camera will have the NDAA certificate and a storage of up to 256 gigabytes uh, micro SD storage. And it has a built in microphone, an audio and has built in microphone. For the power, it can be either or. You can use this as a regular Buddha if you like the sleek and compact design of it. You can, you don't, it's not necessary to use the Wi Fi feature of it. But if you, in the future, want to use the Wi-Fi feature, then you can connect it through the 12 volts DC without an issue. Now, this is another one of our pro uh, products, the XB86NN Gen 3. The NN in the model is basically going to tell you that this product does not have the NDAA certificate. It is non-NDAA. This is one of the products that is non-NDAA. So if a project asks you for NDAA certificates for the camera, this one does not have it. This is a 180 degree camera. It's a bullet, a maximum resolution of up to eight megapixels. So it has four lens. So it has two megapixels in each lens, eight megapixels in total, and a view of up to 180 degrees. This camera will, once you add it to the NVR, all four lens is only one channel. So all four views, all the, the 180 degree view, the four lenses, you'll be viewing it in one channel of the NVR. It's only going to take up one channel, not four channels. For the functions, it has a digital wide dynamic range, a WDR, and it has an infrared distance of up to 65 feet. So that's, that's a pretty good distance for the infrared. The compression supported is H.265. It has an IP rating of 67, so it can be indoors and outdoors. And it has a IK rating of 10. That means that this camera is non-vandalized. You cannot vandalize this camera. It's anti-vandalism. The warranty is the same. It doesn't matter if it's non-NDAA. The warranty will be the same. It's going to be five years. It has an RJ45 interface for PoE. And the storage is a has a micro SD of up to 256 gigabytes. For this camera, it does not have an integrated microphone, but it does have two sources of audio. It has one channel for the input of the audio, and it has one channel for the output of the audio. This is basically how the camera looks like. For the power, it's either 12 volts, that's a 12 volt camera, or you can have PoE without an issue since it does have an RJ45 interface. It has the four lenses that you see on the front. It has four lenses. Each of the four lenses are two megapixels, like I said, so eight in total. And this is a bullet. This is one of our other products that are non-NDAA. As it says in the model, it's the XD86. NN, which stands for non-NDAA, Gen 3. This camera has a maximum resolution of 8 megapixels. It has four lenses, two megapixels in each camera. But the difference for this one is that it's 360 degrees instead of just 180. 360 panoramic view with the four, with the four lenses without an issue. So any blind spot that the 180 degree camera had, this camera, sorry, this camera can support 
all the blind spots that the 180 doesn't give you. The features that it has is the digital wide dynamic range, the WDR. It has an infrared distance of 82 feet, so a little more than the 180 degree bullet that we saw last slide. It has a little more of the, of the distance for the infrared. And this product also has a rating of IK10, which is anti-vandalism. You cannot vandalize this product. And it has a warranty of five years. It has a RJ45 interface. So you can power this on through PoE. And it has a micro SD storage of up to 256 gigabytes. For the audio on this camera, it has one channel audio for input and one channel audio output. And another good thing about this camera is that the pendant mount comes included. So you don't have to buy a separate mount. It comes included with the camera. Moving on to our next uh, device, it's the XR18 slash 8FR Gen 3. The FR means face recognition. So this will be a NVR of eight channels that supports face recognition. Before, in our other webinars, if you've been to our other webinars, we've had a 32 channel NVR that supports face recognition. But now with this one, it's a more economic version of the 32. This one is an eight channel NVR that supports up to face recognition. So a little more economic for those who wants a, a more economic solution to from the 32 channel one. So you don't have to buy the 32 just so you can get that feature, that face recognition feature that most people want nowadays. The max resolution is eight megapixels, so 4K. And it supports up to eight IP channels. All of the IP channels on the back of the NVR, all of the eight ports are PoE. And it supports up to one hard drive, only one, of a maximum of 10 terabytes. The compression supported is H.265 plus, and it supports P2P. So most of the cameras that you're going to uh, put in is it supports the P2P function with the application without an issue. For the video output, it's 4K ultra high definition, and it supports of up to six channels with the facial recognition using cameras that support that uh, that support that function. So most of the cameras that support that function will be listed here: the XE52C, the XB54, the XB82 and the XPTIE254. These are some of the cameras that support face detection. So you can have up to six channels with that face recognition feature. But if you don't have cameras that have that function, then it also supports up to two channels with the face recognition features using cameras that don't allow for face detection. So the NVR itself has the facial recognition feature if you don't have that camera. The warranty still five years, and this product is NDAA certified. Moving on to our next uh, device, it's the XR64 8 Gen 3. This is the 64 channel NVR, has a maximum resolution of 16 megapixels. So super high definition, super high quality it can support. And it supports up to eight SATA, up to 10 terabytes per HDD, per hard drive. So 80 terabytes in total. For the playback, it can play back up to 16 channels simultaneously without an issue. It has a compression of up to H.265 plus and it supports P2P, so you can add this to the application without a problem. For the output, 
this is going to be on your monitors it supports up to 8k so for the clients that you have that do have the 8k uh, tele televisions or has an 8k monitor you can put that there and it will support it without an issue the 64 channel nvr also supports facial recognition it supports up to 16 channels with face uh, with face recognitions using cameras that support that function and it supports up to four channels with face recognition that with cameras that do not support that function the warranty is five years as always and it is ndaa certified another thing is that the rack mount is included with this nvr so in the box when you buy it it's not sold separately you can see the rack mount without an you can have the rack mount with you without an issue um, before we go on if you guys have any questions i will be answering them at the end of the webinar um, this will be i will answer them at the end of the webinar without an issue so you can put the questions in there just ask the questions make sure you jot them down so you don't forget them and i will answer them at the end of the webinar without an issue now here we've gone through all the new models I just want to quickly go over the eConnect app. This is our P2P application for the phone for, that we have for the E Series brand. So the eConnect mobile software is specifically does, uh, designed to small and medium businesses and homes to efficiently use and manage security devices via your smartphone or tablet. So, what that basically means is with just a push of a button just tapping your application you can view all of your cameras remotely whether you're on vacation and you're worried about something that goes on in your house you have cameras around your house and you can pull out the application and you can view what's going on around your house or inside your house if you have cameras at your house without an issue It has remote management for some of the features as remote management. You can view it anytime, anywhere, no issues at all. Just click the application and you can view the cameras. You can have notifications and alerts. So for the cameras that support the emotion or any, uh, if you have an, a, a camera or NVR with an alarm, it will give you the notification or an alert at the moment it happens. So if someone crosses in front of your camera that has motion, it'll, he'll cross and you'll get an alert saying, hey, motion detected from this camera. Uh, this ca camera saying it can be their front gate or the back patio, or if you have a camera near the gate where your car comes in, it'll, whatever name you have for that camera, it will say, hey, this something or motion triggered or something's going on you'll get a notification or alert for that it's very easy to use once you tap on the application the first thing that pops up will be your cameras it's not like other applications where the first thing you see will be your devices and you have to tap on the device and then another menu pops up and you have to click play and then you go to your cameras none of that with this application, you when you click on the application or you tap on the application through your smartphones, you immediately see your cameras. And to view and access your cameras, you can turn your display and it'll be full screen. You can talk. If you have a camera with two-way audio, you can talk through and you can also listen as well if you have cameras with audio. And another important thing is that it is high security. Everything is secure and all data is encrypted. So what can we integrate with the application? A couple things you can, you can integrate with the application. You can integrate IP cameras. So all of the IP cameras, PTZs, domes, the bullets, 
the turrets, all of the IP cameras you can integrate with the application. If you have a DVR, which will be the digital video recorders, the analog cameras, without a problem, you can have them on your application as well. The same thing goes for the NVRs. You can also have them on your application. And for the intercom units, the video doorbell and the monitor, you can integrate them through your application without an issue. When someone calls the intercom, you'll get it from the application and it's going to be ringing on the monitor, so it's going to be ringing on both. And you can answer, once you answer on the phone, the monitor, the monitor will end the call and vice versa. Once you pick up the call from the phone, you can talk with them, you can see them without a problem. And you can activate the relay or open the door from the phone, even when you're not in the call. So eConnect e for small businesses, uh, you can easily access devices through eConnect powered by the P2P and forget about complicated network setups completely to add most of the devices for the eConnect app is just scanning a QR code. Once you scan the QR code, all you have to do is put in the password of the, dev of the device and you immediately have access to your cameras or devices or the intercom unit or whatever device that you have put that you've scanned the QR code of. And use the recording and AI technology to discover anything that happens in your store or house or anywhere you want with a single click without to open ports. You don't need to open any ports here. Now for home surveillance, you have the monitor, you have the intercom, you have a couple cameras. We have cameras with strobe, two-way audio. We have cameras of face detection, uh, intrusion, missing objects as well. So if you have a missing object, you, you put a camera on, let's say, the your purse on the counter or your car, you can have a camera set up. So when that object leaves the vicinity, it'll alert you through your phone. The same thing with the intercom system and the monitor system. Once someone comes in, they ring the doorbell and it'll come through your phone. You can be out on vacation, you can be in Hawaii, you can be in China, you can be anywhere. And it'll ring from your phone and you can view, you can view them, you can talk to them, you can open the door from your phone, from wherever, anywhere. And even when you're not, talking to them. If someone sends you a text message saying, hey, I'm, I'm at your house, you can view the camera just to make sure that they're there and then open the relay from the application to your gate without an issue. You can access live videos and play them anytime, anywhere 24 seven without an issue. So for the playback function, it's very, very friendly. All you would have to do is click on one of the cameras, click on the playback. And if you need to send the playback for whatever reason, maybe to a police, maybe something happened, you need to send it to the police or something happened with a friend and maybe your friend forgot, let's say the, uh, their phone at your house, but you're not at your house, you can, check with your cameras, maybe use a playback function to check about the phone. And for the situation with the police, once you click on the camera that you want, it can be multiple. You click the, the playback function and then you click on record or clip. And once you clip the parts where the situation happened or anything occurred, it will give you a icon. It'll say, the file is ready to download or the preview is ready to download or something like that. And you click on it and it'll immediately download to your photo gallery. A couple of general characteristics for the eConnect app is 
the application for viewing and managing end users' devices. You have real-time notifications like we talked about earlier. You have instance interaction like two-way audio, remote calls, relay activation, and the use of dewarping for fish eyes. The dewarping for fish eye is a camera uh, is a function specifically for the fish eye. You can view the fish eye with different uh, lenses. You can have a four-way lens for the fish eye where you can click and drag the lens to wherever you want to see or you can have it scroll automatically where the where the lenses are automatically scrolling slowly and it has a use of the virtual reality function of the fisheye where you move your phone and as you're moving your phone you can view anything around the fisheye or around where you've installed the camera without a problem it also has PTC movement. So if you have a PTC installed on the application, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can move the PTZ without a left, right, up, down without an issue. You have complete control and security of your equipment and is available for Android and iOS. So both the smartphones without an issue. The capabilities for the application, you can have 300 devices. So once you connect your account, you can have 300 devices in total without a problem. Number of accounts to share to a device, you have five accounts. For mobile devices, which can start with the same administrator account, is for iOS is 300 and for Android is 300, so 300 for both. And the maximum channels to play at the same time will be 16. And with that, we are done with this webinar. Uh, I would like to thank you all for joining the webinar. Uh, it's not over yet. Uh, I would like to take this time to once again, thank you all for coming and supporting us. And if you have any questions right now, I have the questions panel open for any of your questions without an issue. If you have a question, I will take a couple minutes to hear you guys out for any questions that you have. It can be about anything. And I would like to take a couple of minutes for that. Okay, Joanna, can the monitor connect directly to the NVR? Yes, that is something that I didn't say. I'm glad you asked that. The monitor and the intercom unit, so the video doorbell and the monitor can connect directly to the NVR without an issue. And you can view them on the NVR without an issue. I've already tested that. Does it use a channel to connect or does it have its own input? It uses a channel to connect. So it uses one of the PoE ports to connect and it uses a channel to view. No problem. Thank you, Joanna. May you email me a copy of this presentation, please? Yes, yeah, so if I go to the beginning here, give me one second. So here at the beginning, you can see my email. Just email me here saying, hey, I'm from the webinar. Uh, can you send me a copy of the presentation? And I will send you a copy of the presentation without an issue. Thank you. No problem.
Okay, so if we don't have any further questions, I would once again like to thank you all for coming to this E-Series webinar. We have more webinars in the future. If you go to our page, this webinar is recorded. If you would like to review this webinar or other webinars, if you're curious about all of the other products or models that we have, we have webinars on that as well. And we also have articles on tutorials, which is the knowledge base on the top left of our main page. You can view all of that. And once again, thank you guys. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.